Which would you rather be? A Star Killer? Or a Jabba Killer? Why not both? Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're going to talk about how to kill Jabba with Starkiller in 5v5, 3v3. I'm not going to show you any video of it, but this follows the same principles. It's it's fairly good. It's a, This is a crash course video and I haven't made one of these for a little bit, so let's uh, jump into it. Thank you all so much to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. You seriously... Don't know how much it means to me. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to support this channel for free, folks, if you like this kind of a guide, uh, please hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, comment. Let's mount the algorithm, shall we? This is a fun counter, and I hope it comes with some use for you, especially because Star Killer in three or in five v five is not killing Ray nearly as often as he used to, and uh, he needs another target. And Jabba seems like a pretty good one. Let's uh, let's jump into it. So here's the teams, folks. I should have put a little asterisk saying the job or the the light side characters in the five v five team can be swapped out. The Jedi and the light side Ufu, you can kind of just swap them out. They're interchangeable. You don't need them. The really the core of the team is going to be Palp with Mara and Starkiller. And the the Omicrons that you need in Zetas are as follows. You guys can read it for the most part for yourself. I would highly recommend two Omicrons on Starkiller. If you don't have, if you can't do the last one, I get it, kind of, but um, it, it's really good. It's really strong and definitely worth your while. The Emperor Palpatine, you need both of his Zetas. Mara Jade, you can do just one of them. The other one is like, oh, yeah, you can definitely just not do that at all. Um, Starkiller also has a basic Zeta that like, you kind of don't need that much. I mean, it's kind of nice to have. I'd recommend it eventually, but you don't have to get it. And then I didn't even add Visus is because she's not even necessarily going to be in the team every time because she's a tough person to farm. Now, we've got Palpatine and the the relics for him, uh, not not just relics, but the uh, <laughs> the modding for him is pretty different. People people don't realize just how important it is for him to have a lot of protection. We'll get into that a little bit later with how the mechanics of this fight go, but just remember, his Zeta uh, on his unique is giving him 50% extra protection, then every time you do a basic, essentially every time you cause shock to someone, then he's getting 5% extra protection, which is really nice, especially against a thermal detonator heavy Jabba team. You don't want Palpatine to be taking damage from thermals at all. Uh, you also want where you can to get some potency, uh, but remember, the potency is nice. Don't don't break the bank on it though, because you're also going to have Mara Jade on your team, and when she she's doing an AoE that gives tenacity down to people, so you can kind of just piggyback off of that and use that as your boosted uh, Tenacity or potency. Uh, it's kind of nice. Honestly, if you can get a little extra damage from him, that, that would be also that, that wouldn't be terrible. Just you want him to live, though. I mean, I know that we all want him to die because he's the bad guy, but in this case, we want him to do well. Now, Mara Jade, guys, you don't have to have her as crazy fast as my own here in the screenshot, but I would recommend at least somewhere in the 360 range because. You really want her to be scorching fast. You want you need her to be going before all of the Jabba, Jabba characters. You also really want as much potency on her as you can find. Remember, Emperor Palpatine with his lead is going to give her extra potency, but you also need potency on uh, everything else. Because here's the thing, guys: if you have to, uh, people fight me on this all the time. Um, <laughs> if you if you need to, you can do the tenacity down AOE first, and that that's fine. That's acceptable. However, then it's very difficult to uh, you know. Then you can do another AOE. You get all your staggers. You get all of the shock. That's great. But then it, it's very challenging sometimes to take advantage of that because she goes first, and then your opponents all go first, and then they cleanse and they get rid of all those debuffs and all those things. Unless if you can get stagger 
first with her, which you can't always, especially some people mod Jabba teams with a ton of tenacity, but if you can do those naturally without the help of tenacity down, then your next AoE from Mara can just be to knock everyone's stagger and everything back again. This is some, this is something, well, I'll show you in the actual footage, but it's a pretty important foot point guys lots of potency on her he is really going to go a long way toward destroying your foes here now you've got star killer here you don't need a ton of speed on him he's gonna be outrun by palp and mara by about a, a country mile ish a mile ish uh, but you want offense guys and let's not get into the whole debate of whether you, you want tons of offense or health I think especially for this counter you don't want as much health because health is going to destroy you from thermals thermals are going to do percentage health damage and so uh, yeah crit damage on the triangle with offense on it just try to get him as much offense as possible because he's going to be following uh He's going to be following Palpatine around like a lost little puppy halfway through the fight. Now, how does it work to get the unlimited turn meter here? Uh, so I'll kind of describe it here and then you guys will see what I mean once we actually get to the practical part of this. So uh, before the match, just let, check the team tenacity. If, if it's low enough, if, you, if you've modded your Mara to have really good potency, then you want to use the shock AoE. And if not, then you can use the tenacity down AoE. So the, the battle will start with Jabba throwing his thermal detonators. And then you want Mara Jade to do her AoE, which is usually tenacity down. Uh, I mean, sometimes I, I typically do the other one. I do shock because my, my potency is enough, typically. Now... Uh, remember, with his lead, when an Empire, Empire ally inflicts a debuff during their turn, they gain 20% turn meter. That's important to what he's doing. Now, uh, Mara Jade's going to do her other AoE, whichever one it is. Palpatine's going to do the ability that no one ever uses, and that, that's the one that does the health steal thing. You do it in Conquest sometimes for the feats. Um, so just remember that Boosh is... Still stopping anyone from assisting. You you can't actually assist with her right now. So you want Palpatine to take three turns. You want Mara Jade to take three turns. So then uh, they can all they can assist each other. I guess Mara can't assist anyone, but um, you want Palpatine to be able to assist Mara when possible. And the goal here, guys, is to get shock onto everyone. And the reason you want to do that, guys, is if every if shock is on everyone, including Jabba, all five characters, then. And for each character, he every time you do shock, he's gaining fit. Palp is gaining 15% turn meter for each shocked enemy. Now, and the Jabba has a lot of reactive turn meter, but if everyone is shocked, they're not gaining that reactive turn meter. And so, uh, Palpatine is actually getting 95% bonus turn meter every single time he does a basic if everyone has shock which is a very important note so you just want to initially with palp inevitably there's going to be someone without shock or if they have stagger you want to make sure that stagger triggers the you know the removal of turn meter for them um so you just do a basic to them and then you just spam the basic and you spam the basic and uh if all five of the characters have shock. Yeah, that, that's just a note. The 95% turn meter. Eventually, you want to kill Boosh, and then, and then Star Killer will finally start assisting, and then you'll win the fight. So uh, let's let's get to the actual practical video of this, folks. Um, and uh, this is from my main account. This is a really really thick Jabba team. Lots lots of. Lots of relics. You can see Relic 9 on Kersantin with the Omicron to make him even thicker. This is a Territory War modded, very strong team. And so, what you're going to do... Alright, so so Jabba, I guess he didn't throw his thermals to start with. He just called the Mass Assist, which is also detrimental. Um, so, I have Jedi Training Ray here. Like I said, they're interchangeable. You don't need Visus Mar to, to be here at all. Um, and so, you just want to throw the thermal from Mara, you can see they didn't really do as much as we wanted. It did give stagger to a few people, it gave shock to a few people, That that's great. Then um, here's tenacity down for everyone, and really, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're just 
Jedi Training Raid takes a lot of turns here. This is the first time I ever used her on this team, in fact, guys. I just wanted to try it, and apparently I'm using it for a video now. So, uh, you can dispel everything with Star Killer if he gets the odd turn. That's great. Uh, Plo Koon can just do what he wants, man. I like I play Plo Koon here because he gives everyone turn meter, which is sometimes kind of a nice little pick-me-up. Now, uh, you can see that Palpy is... Okay, finally, everyone but Jabba has shock, and Jabba's going to be getting turn meter, reactive turn meter, and that, that's frustrating, but that, that's just how it goes. You don't want to necessarily kill Boosh right away. Now, one thing to point out here, folks, is that Palpy is also <laughs> under the effect of uh, whatever Kersantin's move that, that he did, where he gives, he, he halves the person's total offense. So, which it's it's kind of a mess. You, you kind of don't want that. Um, all right. So yeah, Mara Mara went. We we killed Boba, and now we may as well, guys. Uh, pretty soon we're probably gonna want now because not everyone has shock. I guess Jabba has shock now. Um, and so not not everyone's gaining bonus turn meter. Uh, we're we're kind of just trying to do a little damage though. Three thousand a pop, six thousand a pop. It's really not doing that much damage at this point because my opponent has well modded characters. Uh, this one doesn't have super high relics on Embo, I suppose. But one way or another, uh, you just play this play this the same way against most of them. Uh, you know, killing Boosh would be nice because I would set Star Killer free. But also, we have enough time. Keep keep an eye on the clock. Uh, we have enough time to kind of just over the course of time, just you know, uh, d drag some of their turn, drag some of their health down so that you can just kind of one shot everyone pretty quickly after all of it's done. Now we're keeping Embo around just to keep getting uh, giving us more and more turn meter from the shock because we're, we're the main thing here is palpatine's just doing his basic all the time all the time lots of basic and uh we do have our star destroyer ready we may as well wait till we can it can be kind of a finishing blow and we can get main or major banners big banners back uh because eventually uh, inevitably java is going to send us more thermal detonator gifts all right, we killed Grisantin once, and now let's see how much damage we can do to Jabba. Eventually, we do want to get the Star Destroyer of Healing. Yep, there we go. Star Destroyer of Healing. Good job, Star Killer. Well done. Okay, so Grisantin's back. Somehow Grisantin returned, and how dare he. Let's just kill Jabba first, if possible. Nice. Now we can just hit auto with 38 seconds left, but we, we should be good. Even with a really thick Chrysanthemum, uh, we, we should be good. And now Jabba's doing, or sorry, Emperor Palpatine's doing his full amount of damage. And there we go, 65 banners. That's all that was from my main account. Now this is my alt, and we're using Fulcrum Ahsoka here uh, as and Kenobi. of Like General Kenobi of all, like the... The light side characters are really just interchangeable. Kenobi's nice. He's not necessary for this counter, like you just saw. We just used Plo Koon on the other one. But this is the same principle. Obviously, they have a little bit different team. I should add, folks, that the team you just saw me fight also had uh, what's called a Thick Cron, which gives them an extra 60% health and protection. The whole Jabba team gets an extra 60% health and protection. And so, uh, this one has, I don't think they have that thick Kron. I think they have something that gives them a bunch of health and protection on the Datacron, but remember that this is all beholden to the idea of if Palpatine can't gain bonus turn meter, then you're kind of just screwed. You, you need Palpatine to be able to gain bonus turn meter. That That is absolutely uh, a failure point. If, if you're not careful, that can really screw you. Now, the, the fight kind of looks like it might be getting out of our grasp because they're starting to gain a lot of turn meter, a lot of people without shock, and it is um, it is all very qu quite quite shocking. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing 14k a pop on, on crits. It doesn't look like it's actually making a difference. So, uh, you know, we're just we're just trying to gain a lot of turn meter, trying to get trying to get the health and protection down a little bit, and 
Uh, yeah, we, we've just gotta... Eventually, Starkiller's gonna just end Boosh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, now we're in the Starkiller phase. Now we can call him to assist. Now we can start killing everyone. And, uh, you know, kind of sprinting toward the end. But it's good. It's good to kind of spend about a minute just doing endless shocks with Palp. Not, not only because it's... It's a good tactical choice. I think it is a great tactical choice, but it's also uh, really fun to just just feel like it's God mode. You're like, oh, they can't take turns. I'm gonna taking. I'm gonna take all the turns. All right, kill Krizan in one time, and then keep going on Jabba. Keep going. Uh, remember that Jabba. If you if you do remove his turn meter, it gets a bunch of bonus protection. But that's not as relevant in this match, honestly. It's better to just keep him from getting a bunch of turn meter. You don't, you don't want him. You don't want him to be getting a lot of turns. And then once it's time to start killing him, then you, you should just be good to go. Now we're waiting. We're ho hopefully Star Killer is going to be able to get his Star Destroyer of Healing. There it is. There it is. Cool. Well done. Call the mass assist from Kenobi. Not that we really needed it, but. Um, He's pretty good with Star Killer if you can afford it. It's a really weird thing to be able to do that. So, anyways, folks, that's it. That's how you do it. You just uh, abuse that shock ability from Star Kill or from from Emperor Palpatine, and then eventually you're able to just kind of run the board on Palp or on <laughs> on Jabba and get the win. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hopefully, this is helpful, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.